Well, it's true that I have been in Zurich myself. I've been a primario in obstetrics, so I know everything professionally. And uh, at one point, I became aware that it's not for doctors to meddle in this thing, because childbirth or pregnancy is not a sickness. It is the expression or rather it is life expressing. And it has been said that regarding the great mysteries, nothing can be said with words, only with images, symbol, and music. This is why in all my films there is no commentary, no talking over, only images and sounds. then the mind becomes quiet. And it's only the moment the mind becomes quiet that you can feel beyond, as it were. So basically everything happened through uh, metaphor, symbolism, exactly. pictures, it takes talks you from to the unconscious directly. It, it takes you from the little ego to uh, a, a high level of consciousness. You look, you listen, and that's what they to it. And you can really perceive something if your mind becomes completely silent and quiet. That's exactly what happened to me the first time I saw the movie. Exactly. I stood up and I went to bed. Exactly. And it was staying with me the whole night and I guess the whole morning. Because that it, where it takes you back to a state of your life when you were not not yet talking. And the deepest impression in our life come from the very uh, beginning of life. And at this point you don't talk. No. But you communicate in a different way. As it is said from heart to heart. Truth is that Chimpers is a solitary experience. This is what women have told me. And they say that it's solitary but not lonely. The difference is very subtle but very important. In lonely there is a touch of sadness. In solitary nothing of the kind. Solitary means self-reliant, self-dependent. And during labor, the moment woman enters into labor, she's completely on her own. And she's discovering, finding out her true height dimension. She feels this is really selflessness. I'm not feeling for myself, I'm feeling for this child. I'm giving this child its freedom. And this is the beginning of true freedom. Freedom is just to be free from the mother. And the mother itself connects exactly. Itself. And this no. is a selflessness. Only a woman can experience and know what is selflessness. Men can never know. So basically, giving birth is a true mystic experience for. Absolutely. For Absolutely. the mother and for exactly. the child. Absolutely. And no one can really be part of it. No. She's not small, petty and limited as our ego, the little I. She touches and the dementia, she becomes one with life. This is why it is so frightening also. It's very frightening, but I remember the picture in your movie where the waves comes from the yes. earth, water, goes all the way up and then it's very strong very and then come back as a circle. And there I remembered some people when they had the regression in the womb, they remember when the mother was contracting and stopping the wave. It's like going against this exactly. wave. Exactly. Women suffer in childbirth or rather in delivery, in labor, 
because they try to fight the process. It is so powerful they are they're afraid and they try to stop it. Mm. But it's much stronger than them. You cannot stop the wave. Impossible. <laughs>